Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to let you know, if you have not received your tea stuff yet, please be patient. While we were packing, some of the tea ran out so I had to order some more. So if you have not gotten your order, it is coming. Everyone will have their order by this weekend. So thank you for your patience. This is a business just ran by me and my kids. So, you know, I'm sorry it's taken longer than a week, but everyone will get their stuff. So please be patient. Any questions, just hit me up and let me know. So anyways, you guys, I want to come on here and drop some stories. It's been a busy weekend, just getting a lot of stuff together. So if you guys don't know, the Love & Hip Hop Atlanta reunion is in effect, and there's been all types of drama this weekend they were shooting. Bitches be acting tough. I'm up here filming and your bum ass for Stevie J gonna come up here. Britney on motherfucking sight. You scary as fuck. That's why you hit in the back. Bitch, I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass when I fucking see you, bitch. And Erica Mena decided to go onto Instagram and basically call out Stevie J. She claims that Stevie J is a woman beater. And then she also blasted DJ Envy and says that now she has a platform. She's going to be telling her truth and she's going to put DJ Envy on blast. Because if you guys don't know, her and DJ Envy, they had a torrid love affair, okay? DJ Envy cheated on his wife for Erica Mena a few years ago and then basically just thotted her out, straight disrespected her, put the blame on Erica Mena. So now Erica Mena is seeking to tell her truth and she was also blasting the shade room. She feels like they never post anything positive about her. They're always posting the negative. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video of Erica Mena just ranting, raving, and going off. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Do this one? stupid reunion today. He likes to fight females. So if you blogs want to blog about anything, blog about the fact that Stevie J's a are those, bitch. Are these weed plants? And he yeah, likes man. to fight girls. You know, they look like they could be right. Stevie oh. J's a bitch and he likes to fight girls. <laughs> so with that being said, nigga got caught out there for years walking up down, up and down road, fucking, yeah, ask Clue, ask Charlemagne, ask Angela fucking P. All of the motherfuckers that saw me hand in hand with this little nigga. No wedding ring. For years, no wedding ring. But when his wife found out about me, oh, what happened? He cried wolf on radio. So that's when everybody, and that's when I became the, she's beneath me. She's this, she's that. Nigga. You spent more money on me than you did it on your wife at one point. So from day one, I never got a fair shot with y'all motherfuckers in the media. It's no secret. Angela P. and Charlemagne. Boss up. What's the other fucking bullshit websites? They got like little blogs. That's why they set the tone. It's politics, nigga. Politics. I was never that hot then. So they took advantage. And remember, Love & Hip Hop wasn't on my table at then. So telling my story wasn't an outlet. Now I can fucking tell my story so it is what it is. Feeling bad when he was doing all that crime and still, please help me save half of everything. Just deny it to her. Deny it. Help keep the half of my half. I was that bitch that really lied for him. <laughs> so years later, it's like, I got to deal with that. Then I got to deal with, because that set the tone of blogs like Shade Room, never showing me in a decent fucking light. Never. Y'all want to pay me as a bad guy? Cool. But every once in a while, I show the real fucking me. Because at the end of the day, me and my son have always been taken care of. I gave my son the best of the best. He did more for me at the time than he probably did his own wife. I did not know she existed. You know, like, that shit... Kills me. That's just not a fun feeling. Like, knowing, like, and I'm a woman's woman. Like, y'all know I love females. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I would fucking finally sit down and realize, like, I'm a fucking human being, too. Like, it just so happens I'm the firecracker and I make great television. So why I'm going off don't matter when I'm great television off of me going off. All I know is at the end of the day, Shade Room posting what the fuck I said about a bitch ass man who called my 11 year old son a faggot on stage is weak so 
You want to post me going off? Or you want to post the whole story? All right, so you guys just saw Erica Banner going off about the whole Stevie J situation and also talking about DJ Envy. Now, what I find funny is this, okay? I understand Erica Banner for being mad because she said that Stevie J called her son the F word, and that is not okay in any way, shape, or form. That is a child, and children should be left out of adult disputes. I've always said that. So Stevie J was definitely in the wrong for that if he called her son the F word. But my issue is this. But it's funny that Erica Mena can sit there and call out Stevie J and call him a woman beater. But let's not forget how Erica Mena basically terrorized and whooped the shit out of her baby's daddy. His name is Raul and he's a part of the terror squad. And basically when she seen him outside of the club, this was back in like 2011, she flipped out and whooped this man's ass. And he had to hold back so much restraint not to pop off on Erica. This entire video is really disturbing. Go ahead and check this out. Honey, I love how these loving hip hop chicks, they forget the dirt that they done did. You know what I'm saying? Once they start getting some fame, all of a sudden they're holier than thou. So if Stevie J's a woman beater, then damn it, Erica Mena, you're a man beater, okay? Because you whipped the shit out your baby's daddy and that was not called for. You straight up embarrassed him in front of the world. So she needs to remember that she's done a lot of dirt and she herself has put her hands on people. And let's not forget when she slapped the shit out of Sin, okay? She also put her hands on Sin when, when she was in a lesbian relationship back when Sin Santana was gay. Now she's straight and she got a baby with Joe Budden. But before she got with Joe Budden, she was in a relationship with Erica Mena. So this entire situation to me is the pot calling the kettle black. You can't talk shit about him whooping on women when you whipped on women and then you've also whooped on your baby's father, okay? So Erica Mena has a long track record for putting her hands on people. So I just love and enjoy how she forgets all the dirt that she done did in the past. But then she wants to throw other people's dirt in their face, okay? So anyways, besides Erica Mena blasting Stevie J. It looks like Jocelyn Hotep Hernandez, remember when she became woke and decided to supposedly leave the show, but then it came out that she was fired? Well, anyways, it looks like Miss Hotep Hernandez is also blasting Stevie J. And she's basically saying that Stevie J is once again secretly gay. He took to Instagram and he stated that he's looking for a wife. And Jocelyn Hernandez decided to come behind him and say, don't you mean that you're looking for a husband? Y'all go ahead and check out this back and forth. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw Stevie J's post. And you guys saw what Jocelyn Hotep Hernandez had to say about it. So obviously she's not feeling it. She's in her feelings. And my thing is this. It's funny how she wants to call him out for being gay and saying that he should be looking for a husband. But Jocelyn Hernandez done ate more cooch on that show, okay? Let's not forget she's the same one who was having three sons with Stevie J and Mimi, okay? It's funny that, you know, it's okay for her to be bi and try stuff out. But then she wants to also use that as something derogatory when Stevie Stevie J does the same thing. We all know Stevie J goes both ways, okay? Shauna Brooks done put him on blast. We know he likes boy pussy, okay? That's not a secret. But it's funny that when it comes to him, you know what I'm saying, going down that route, she wants to throw in his face like it's a bad thing. But when it comes to her doing the same damn thing, being bisexual and messing with men and women, it's only okay when she does it, but it's bad when Stevie J does it. I feel like this. Jocelyn Hotep is mad because Stevie J did not want to wife her. They had to put on this whole fake marriage charade. Stevie J never wifed her after having a previous abortion she then got knocked up by him again and kept the baby and Stevie J basically only wants to deal with Bonnie Bella and doesn't want to have anything to do with Jocelyn and he's moved on to that other pretty Latina girl and I feel like Jocelyn Hernandez is still feeling some type of way about the whole breakup and the fact that Stevie J does not pay her any more mind and that he's moving on with his life okay but last but not least Stevie J you don't need a wife honey you don't even need a husband at this point you're too much of a hoe okay you don't know if you want to be gay, straight, bi, if you want to be with this woman, that woman, Stevie J just needs to be single and doing him, okay? It's been nothing but Stevie J cheating on the women that he's been with. He dogged the hell out of Mimi. He dogged the hell out of Jocelyn Hernandez. He dogged the hell out of all his damn baby mamas. So no, Stevie J, you don't need to look for a wife, honey. You, you just need to be single and enjoy living your best life, okay? That's what you need to do, Stevie J. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. 
Let me know your thoughts on this entire insane situation, honey. Concerning Erica Mena going off on Stevie J, calling him out, saying that he's a wife beater, but yet and still forgetting her own dirt when she used to put her hands on people left and right. And then how do you feel about Jocelyn Hotep Hernandez basically blasting Stevie J once again and throwing it in his face that he's bisexual slash gay when Jocelyn herself has gone down the same route? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.